The video is hard to watch, but police want you to see it and report the man and woman who attacked an A-train conductor on the Grant Street platform around 4.30 a.m. Saturday. But it's not just police who say there's a need for help. No more assault! No more assault! Chants from transit workers responding to a rising number of assaults on people like bus operator Felix Olivo. The guy ripped my, my badge off and he assaulted me. I stayed in the seat and I, I couldn't believe what happened. His case, like six other attacks on this wanted poster put out by New York City Transit and the Transport Workers Union, which are often at odds. Today, their leaders work together. They're spat at, they are punched, uh, they are threatened and that is unacceptable. He and the union president also talked about this, body cameras that some subway conductors will wear on a trial basis starting as early as next month. We're gonna see how it works out. If the assaults start to go down and it's a good program, then we're gonna, we're gonna expand on it. But for now, the push is these wanted posters. I wanna flood the system now. At the station where the latest attack happened, clear evidence of the city and MTA taking action. They're going to get caught. Their flies are everywhere. But many passengers and top transit brass alike say there may be one big reason for a spike in attacks. Get these trains working so people can get to work on time. Yes, people get frustrated. They should hold me to account for that. And he said the way to hold him accountable is through the MTA's social media platforms, its website, and its phone number because he says he's listening and the frustration is very real and that operators of buses and conductors of trains have nothing to do with the frustrating delays.